I strongly support the development of self-driving vehicles, and I'm glad we are considering Representative Lado's discussion draft today, which would establish a preemptive national standard for these vehicles for the future. If Congress does not act on this issue, I believe it's a, a matter of uh, national security. Allowing China to lead in the development of AVs uh, would cause serious damage to our automotive and technology sectors. An important com component of Mr. Lado's draft is language that would increase the number of AVs that the uh, DOT may provide an exemption for if they qualify as safe or safer than the current motor vehicle, uh, federal motor vehicle safety standards. As a small business entrepreneur, one of the reasons I came to Congress was to make sure that the federal government supports our startup industries and is not a roadblock. For AV companies to be able to prove their value in the free market, they must be allowed to sell their vehicles. Uh, this is a question from Mr. Bazola and Mr. and Mr. Shapiro. NHTSA has a standing government order to require manufacturers to report all crashes involving vehicles equipped with advanced driver assistance systems or automated driving systems. Unfortunately, the reported data does not specify whether the crashes were caused by those vehicles. Do you have concerns uh, with the lack of transparency in this reporting system, and do you think this reporting problem could lead to consumer confusion over the safety of these vehicles? And I'll start with uh, you, Mr. Th Bazella. Thank you. Thank you for the question. I, do, I agree that context uh, is really important here. Uh, and I'm not sure that the data in the standing general order provides the appropriate context. And so as we do consider, um, for example, what the future of the standing general order would be and how we think about data and transparency, I think making sure that we have context is important. And I agree with you 100% that that's important to consumer awareness and confidence in the technology going forward, that we understand what's working, and the overall context. In other words, it, it, how it fits in with what's happening on the roads more broadly. Right. Mr. Shapiro. Thank you. I would agree with that. The, um, right now, under the standing order, you have to report just about anything. And it counts if a, a bird hit your car, or there's social media report that there was a, a uh, self-driving vehicle involved in an accident, even though it may not have happened. So those are counted in the statistics. So they really need to be sharpened up, frankly. But I think if you look at the absolute numbers, which are incredibly low, especially more recently, um, uh, almost no deaths, uh, very few injuries, uh, some minor crashes, it's, it's phenomenal. And there's the opportunity that, that everyone in this country has, is to pay lower insurance rates, to have the whole new creation of jobs, lower costs, and, and stop the carnage. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. Right, exactly. Well, I remember when the horse and buggy was replaced by the automobile. All these people were scared to death of it. <laughs> uh, Bozola, uh, uh, well, I, uh, yeah, I watched movies, okay? How, how can we encourage productive collaboration between government and private sector to deliver this important technology for the American people? I, I, th I think collaboration is essential. A and what, what what we can do is ensure that we have the certainty of a comprehensive regulatory framework for the testing and deployment at scale. That's where the partnership is at its most essential. You mentioned a moment ago you're concerned about startups. This is an opportunity for a rising tide to lift all boats. Um, there is so much activity happening with innovation, technology, and startups in this country that will benefit as this industry goes to scale. And uh, I've got about uh, 39 seconds. Uh, it, you know, obviously we have some preemptive legislation here. Um, obviously we hope it's bipartisan and it moves very rapidly, but things don't happen that quick up here. But I see this as a great opportunity to expand this economy. Would any of you disagree with that? Okay. No, so sir. this this is the future. Absolutely. Great. Thank you very much. Now you're back. <laughs>